the uh, the old fender. Remember that thing. Done. You're probably starting to question my sanity, and uh, it's fair. You see, this is the old fender, of course. If you've paid attention to any old videos, you know my dilemma here. It doesn't look like a lot, but there's a lot more to this that has to be pretty well spot on, or it's just not going to look right. The problem that was tripping me up was this spot here. So this is a curve and then it also crowns this way. This is crowned this way, but it also crowns this way. It's just a lot of compound stuff that to get it right and then to get it to match up with the fender flare so there's not this awkward, weird gap. And I don't wanna just rely on something like body filler to fix that. That's where my scouting for a different fender came in. Here's the brand new fender that I just bought. Cut in twain. <laughs> Why? You see this. This is a common thing that people used to do. I found this out later thanks to Uncle Chris. The insert that we're looking at right there would go into this pocket. And then some people back in the 70s, 80s, whatever, didn't, didn't like that two-piece look. And it was common for people to fill over that and fill it in. And when I saw this, it looks like what was going on. They filled this area poorly because you can see the bodywork is not great there and obviously poorly here because the bodywork is, well, coming off. I didn't think much of it. I even had a picture of the back, so it's totally on me. Let's flip this over for a second. See the problem? Do you not see it? Hang on. Get a look at this. See this? It's not there. This was a Firebird fender. This was never a Trans Am fender. Someone crudely cut this opening, folded it back, which is why that body line looks a little funky, or not the body line, but why that little edge looks a little funky. So there's nothing for this to bolt to. And they just squooshed in an entire 13 gallons of filler. It's dented, it's kind of peaked right here. And this is body filler coming through that. So that's either rust holes or they drilled these holes and they filled it. This whole thing right here is garbage to me. My idea now is to do this. Put the new piece onto the old piece. I'm not smart enough to do this, but I'm dumb enough to try. So I have it sitting in place, kind of how I was thinking. A reference point up here. Uh, I left the arch, so I have that as a reference point also. And I can always trim this back. I can always trim this section here. This section right here is the worst of all of this. This needs to go back. For that to happen, I'm gonna have to cut anything right here that's keeping that from happening. This. Can anybody see where I put Mark Wahlberg? Marky Mark, oh there you are. There you go, thank you. So of course I'm gonna line this up way better than what it is right now, but you see the logic maybe behind this. So now that this section here is pushed back, I can get a better idea of where I can cut this. Probably cut it past where this damage is because this is all good on the this fender right here. save 
for later pile. I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and prepped, ready to weld it together, and uh, fingers crossed that I can actually do this. Oh my god, my tacks are terrible. I'm trying to hold my breath, hold this, and literally hold everything else at the same time. Don't judge my welding on this. Actually, it's probably a really fair assessment. Ow! So I got this welded up and ground back down. And it's cor of course it's not perfect, you can see. I have it valid for a reason because, you know, I'm under no delusions, like I said. I'm going to have to fill it with some fiberglass filler. This is all sort of still very, very rough, but I'm at a frustrating stopping point. So I started prepping this section right here to weld in this, you know? Well, look at this. See this rusted dent? Badly, there's one here, one here. And as I started going, look how much filler is here. Sixteenths? Something like that. A filler from about right here. See here, this is why, you know, buying you stuff and people say like, restored, it's, yeah, okay. See what's underneath it. This is dented here. This body line sucks. Cool. I can shape this with fiberglass. That's not the issue. I just don't want to do that. Would you try and hammer these dents out and just do it as best you can because you know I'm gonna have to fiberglass it anyway. Probably is what I'm going to resort to because I really have no other options. All right, so maybe a little less of a negative. I mean, still not great, clearly, but uh, you can see now I did do some hammer and dolly work. Tried to straighten this out as best I can. All the way through here is still very wavy. I gotta take care of this rust hole here, it's rusted through. And other than that, it might be okay. I didn't show the entire process just because you've seen it before and it's really not all that exciting, but I just put on some of that fiberglass reinforced filler. It's coming out okay. The only things that I'm really worried about is this because I'm going to need quite a bit of filler to make this right. That's where it was dented in and you know, all screwed up. There was a rust hole. There was one here that I've already welded in a patch. You can see the patch right there, which I gotta do the back side of it. Kinda nervous about that. Another few spots of concern are how this transitions from the wheel arch and that subtle body, body line, which is right, right here. See how this fades and sort of transitions, and it's very faint, but it is there. You can see that I've started to bring it back. It's about right in here. There's that. Of course, this was all beat up. I've gotten it sort of straightened out and I got the bad rust spot cut out here. I got a patch right here that I still need to clean up and cut out and everything. It's coming along. It's, it's something, that's for sure. It'll probably take another round of fiberglass filler. Coat number two. <sighs> yep. Let this dry, then see how much daylight we have and come back and do uh, the rest. Well, I'm back inside, ran out of light, as you can see over there. The big question is, what would you do in my situation? Would you try and work the fender or just go find a different one? I would like to use factory metal if I can, but it's just not looking like I have the skill set to do that. I could make it work with filler, but I feel like that might just be a band-aid fix for something that, you know, five, six months down the road, a year, two years, three years, whatever, it's going to cause a problem. I feel like it's taking a pretty big risk considering that uh, trying to match and blend paint down the road, you know, a couple years down the road or months down the road can be pretty difficult. Uh, so, what would you do? Would you take the risk or would you just get a different fender altogether? Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I'll see you later.